I want to demonstrate how to debug code in MATLAB. I put in here three mistakes that I'm going to go through and find as if I was doing this without knowing that I've made the mistakes. So here's a program. I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And when I do, I get an error message. It says it's an undefined variable lowercase n. This is a pretty common mistake. I've gone ahead and defined capital N here, but now I'm trying to use lowercase n. And I know that MATLAB is case sensitive, so I have to make sure I'm always using the right variable, in this case capital N. I'm going to run the program again. Now it's upset because it doesn't like what I'm doing with my count variable. It says there's not enough input arguments. That's a pretty difficult thing to understand when really what the issue is, is I haven't defined count up at the top. I also want to make sure I use my semicolon because I don't want to see extra numbers appearing on my command window. I just want my final output. All right, so I'm going to try to run this again. Okay, now I didn't put anything at the bottom here, anything to display, so I'm going to go here and just type x. Well, x is equal to 1. That's my last time I've done my variable. Um, and my count, my count is 12. Now I can also see off to the left-hand side of my workspace, I can see the variables as well. Okay, this is a little concerning. If I've only run this trial 10 times, and I've somehow gotten 12 times that x is equal to 1, I've made a mistake. Now, it's probably very clear what I've done is a mistake, but I want to show how I would go about and step through this. Now, if I wanted to, to do this program for real, I would have had a much larger number here for the number of trials. But when I'm debugging, I always break it down into simple situations because I don't want this to run 10,000 times. I just want to run it 10 times until I make sure it works. So what I'm going to do is click on this breakpoint. And I want to set a breakpoint somewhere. So what a breakpoint does is it stops the code when it hits that breakpoint. So I'm going to first put a breakpoint right here. So the very first time and every time that x is assigned a new random variable. And I also want to put a breakpoint here when the count gets incremented. That is when I find that x is in fact equal to the number 1. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And when I do this, it stops at the first breakpoint. Notice on the left-hand side, there's nothing there for x. It's because I have not yet assigned x for the first time. But I can go ahead and check that i is equal to 1 like I'm expecting, and the count is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do, instead of running it again, I'm going to step through the code. What this does is it steps through line by line so I can really see what's going on. So it assigned x a value 0. It's now going to look at x and see if it's equal to 1. I'm hoping that it skips the count equals count plus 2, and it does. So now I know that it worked correctly to identify that that 0 isn't in fact equal to a 1. Oh, there's actually not three mistakes in this code. There's four mistakes in the code. I just got an x of equaling 0. What does my comment say? Well, it says either a 1 or a 2. That means I've forgotten to put in here a plus 1 because the floor brings it down to the next lowest integer. So it was giving me between 0 and 1 and not 1 and 2. Well, now what I want to do is quit debugging because I want to start this from scratch. So now every starting new, you can see again there's no value for x because this is the first time I've run the program because of my clear all and CLC. All right, now I'll do another step and I find that x is equal to 2. Now this makes me happier because I was hoping for either 1 or 2. Now x is not equal 1, so I'm hoping it skips incrementing the count. And it does. Now i is now equal to 2. And now I'm going to assign myself another x variable. In this case, x is equal to 1. So it now should increment the count. And sure enough, it does get to that line. And the count is incremented. But this is when I realize that this should not be plus 2, but this should be equal to plus 1. I want to increment the count by 1 every time that I get a 1. Again, I'm going to click on Quick Debugging. I'm going to run this again. 
and I'm going to step through it. And this time x is equal to 1, count is incremented by 1, and I can step through this and realize that this is in fact going to be going from i equals 1 to 10, just as I expected. Once i is equal to 10, I'm done with my program. And that's just a very simple way of showing how you can use the debugging tools in MATLAB to help you find errors in your code.